TitleMatchNetwork.com. There was also a number of times you were sent to uh, WWWF to make some appearances at MSG, uh, the Garden. Mm -hmm. Talk about the reasoning behind the obviously the AWA and the WWWF at the time were running different regions. Like break down why promoters would send talents to other promoters for a one-off. Mm. You know, when they had a big card, the promoters wanted to make it bigger than than just New York or right. their area or the WWF at that time. Uh, so they'd bring in some outside talent. And I had, I was lucky to have the opportunity to wrestle in the garden and wrestle in Chase Stadium. And uh, Jim and I were supposed to come up and wrestle in New York, have a tour, have a be up here for a year or two. And Jim had just got married and he didn't want to go to New York. So we never made the shot up here. I think when you went in as a singles, you worked with uh, Jose Estrada, mm -hmm. Johnny Rods, and uh, I believe Rick yep. McGraw. Any, any yep. of those matches stand out at all? Well, I, I think I had all pretty good matches with all three of them. Um, you know, I think uh, uh, the first two, they were they were just kind of, you know, the guys that came in and got people over. And right. A lot of guys didn't have really good matches with them. They just kind of ate them up. But I was able to at least have really good matches with them. And they were, they were you know, made them look good and they made me look good. Any dealings at all with Vince Sr. at the time or even Vince Jr.? Uh, Vince Jr., you know, just a, just a hello. Thanks for having me on the card. Vince Sr. always came up and, you know, I always thanked him for letting me, you know, be on the cards. And How would you compare the uh, WWWF product at the time to what AWA was presenting? They were two different, different ball games. They really were. Um, the WWF at that time... Uh, their presentation, it was all featured around the world champion, which most areas were. And when the champions and Bruno was on the card, I mean, they always sold out. Um, the underneath cards, though, of the, of the main event, uh, I was never around it that much, but from what, from what I got, the guys didn't really have to work as hard as we did in, in, to have a match. I mean, we really worked hard and made it convincing. The WWE's presentation was more that it's it's a show, and uh, I watched some of the I mean some of the guys that came from the WWF at that time, and wrestled for the AWA, had a tough time competing and getting to the main events. Pedro Morales is a great example, huge star here. He came in there and he only made it to about the middle of the cards, but. He wasn't used to the competition that he had to have in all the matches. I mean, everybody that went out on the card and us, we, I mean, Vern made you, you had to make it look like, Pete, you better have a, you know, 15 minute match or better. And you better uh, better be solid, you better make those people believe it. 